Hey guys, this tutorial is very short. It's for ORCA IRC path calculation. So there is no explicit IRC uh, keyword for ORCA. So what we will do is that we will deform the um, transition state along the imaginary frequency, both the backward and forward ways, and we will optimize those structures. And ideally we should fall back to the reactants and products for this reaction if our transition state is the correct one. So let's start with uh, opening uh, the XYZ file that corresponds to the imaginary vibration um, of the transition state that we have previously found. So here it uh, is what it looks like for me. If I go into extensions animation and I just loop it through um, the 20 steps that we have here, it will show me the vibration of the two molecules actually bonding together. Uh, so what we want to do now is deform the molecule, um, the, the molecules uh, uh, backwards and forwards. So if you go into step five or so, you see that the two molecules are actually moving apart. We will use these two coordinates um, for the IRC back. So you go extension orca generate input and then you save this as IRC back and then if you continue scrolling and you get somewhere in the vicinity of step 15 you can use these um, set of coordinates for the IRC forward. So again extension orca generate input. Now from the point of view of the command line in the input what you have to do is an optimization. So everything else stays the same really as before. It's really the coordinates that matter. So backwards and forward is exactly the same header, but the coordinates are different. So if you run these two calculations, I'll show you what I get as output. So for IRC back, I get the two molecules further apart. And for the IRC forward, I get the two molecules together forming the cycle. And that would be my product. So now if you want to get the energy of activation, for example, or the delta G, you can get the energies out of the output file um, and make the difference. And don't forget that the energies that are given there are in heart trees and you have to convert them into something more um, intuitive, for example, KKL per mole. Um, the conversion is 627.5 um, as a factor. So yeah, there you go. Uh, it's very easy in a way. Um, and that's a way for you to check whether the transition state that you have found actually corresponds to um, what you were looking for. And that's it. I'll see you next time.